Well, his legacy is spread all over town in, in what he's left behind in all the, the churches and, and residences and commercial buildings. To call him a Renaissance man doesn't even cover it. He's, he's so multi-talented in so many different ways and works in, in so many different materials. I was interested in everything, just everything. I, we went to a lot of museums downtown Cleveland. When I was about this big, my mother took us down there to do little art school class things. And pretty soon, you just get a whack for everything. Harold Blaze is one of those people who knows how to use every single tool in the toolbox, and he might even have uses for it that you've never thought of, and neither did the manufacturer. He professionalized the arts for a lot of this area in Eastern Washington where there hadn't been previously very many artists working either in public art or in commissioned sculpture work. Harold is the grandfather of the arts in Spokane, and it has been the most visual artist, I think, in town. He's been around for so long and has produced so many pieces that are just all over downtown. He's so giving of his time, so, you know, he, he gave one person mentoring, who gave two people mentoring. You know, it's an exponential growth, it would seem. I think a really good way to talk about how Harold's work affects us is to talk about, like, seeing a bunch of it together. You know, he does things that are really tender and beautiful and observed. I love the way that it resonates and echoes nature, abstraction, and that kind of wacky energy that Harold has. The work is part of the face of the community. This is a tearjerker. I did work on a synagogue in the coast and it was being financed by a bunch of very old people who survived. We came down, and these, com these people come down the island, and it was the first time we'd seen it, saw them. And almost to a person, they were crying. Not just the runny eye, they were crying. That was just knocked me over to realize that you could do that, touch someone's life in that, to that extent. 